place to give God a praise. Because we don't know what you've been through. We don't know what the Lord has brought you out of. We don't know how he regulates your mouth when it almost snaps. Hallelujah, but you're here in your white right mind. You're here in your standing. Hallelujah. And I'll be reading from the King James Version. And it reads, Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to my own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land. In those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more. The ark of the covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come to mind. Neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it. Neither shall that be done anymore. A New Testamental Scripture lesson. It shall become from Ephesians 4, 11 and 12. The King James Version says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. This time we're going to ask um, Pastor Sperry if they would um, take the seat. This time I am going to read to you the charge uh, for the pastors, if you would say. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 5, and it reads as thus. I charge to you in the presence of Almighty God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, I say to you this evening, preach the word. Wow. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming, my God, when people will not endure sound teaching, so don't get upset. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, so don't look for the crowd. And will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded, enduring suffering. Do the work of an evangelist and fulfill your ministry. Amen. The ordinance, uh, the ordination charge. My beloved brothers, sisters, since we believe that God has called you to be a minister of Jesus Christ, and since the church has recognized this call, and by prayer and laying on of hands has separated you to the gospel of God as an apostle of the Lord's church, I therefore beseech you that you give earnest heed to the word of the living God which declares, Thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. 
Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that, they, uh, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, Follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth, uh, warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed. Take heed therefore unto thyself and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made thee an overseer to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not uh, for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall recover, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. You are to preach the word, not the opinions and traditions of men, not pleasing fables or sensational stories to move the fancy or excite the emotions. You are not to exhort yourself, but as in the presence of God, you are to stand before a dying world and preach the word of God. Let there be no levity, no trifling, no fanciful interpretations. As a minister of God, you are to speak with sincerity and deep earnestness as a voice from God expounding the Holy Scriptures. You are to bring to your hearers those things which, mo which most concern their spirit, uh, their present and eternal God, not to preach a word that people have changed the meaning of for the times. There are many things that change, but the word of God does not change. Uh, you are to warn them of the soon coming of Jesus Christ, because he is coming back again. Uh, he's coming back in power, and he's coming back in great glory. Your message must be, uh, must be such as to lead men to see the importance that God attaches to his law, to his word. So plainly are you to present the truth that no transgressor hearing it shall be excusable in failing to discern the importance that you are a messenger of God, commissioned by him to do a work, the influence of which is to endure throughout eternity. Your whole aim should be to bring sinners to repentance. 
not into numbers, but to bring sinners to repentance. If you get one out of 50, you have brought sinners to repentance, uh, pointing them by both precept and example to the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. You should speak as one who, uh, one conscious of power and authority from God. Your dis discourses uh, should have an earnestness, a fervor, a power, a persuasion that will lead sinners to take refuge in Christ. Today, my beloved brother and sister, you have been solemnly dedicated to God by prayer and the laying on of hands. You are thus authorized by the church not only to teach the truth but to perform the rite of baptism and to organize churches being invested with full ecclesiastical authority. Your ordination is a public recognition of your divine appointment to bear to the world the glad tidings of the gospel. Hence your office is the most important to which human beings have ever been called. As you go forth on your mission to love preaching the glorious gospel of the blessed God, you may be assured of the fact that he who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks and who holdeth the seven stars in his right hand will tenderly care for you. And if you are faithful to the end of the work to which you have now received divine appointment, you will hear at last from his lips the words, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. You have today taken upon yourself the solemn vow of consecration to the sacred service of your master. Not your earth, earthly master, but a heavenly master. Uh, while God and holy angels have been summoned as witnesses to the dedication of body, soul, and spirit to his holy service, I charge you therefore that you ever keep in absolute purity this consecrated vessel which God would use in his high and holy service that when your life work is ended you may be able to say I have fought a good fight I have finished my course I have kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day. At this time, uh, I'm going to pray for you and lay hands on you, and then I am going to present you to the church.
certificate of license be it known to all by these present that we, the Presbyters of St. John Assemblies Incorporated, under the authority of God Almighty, on this seventh day of March 2021, do solemnly sanction and certify that Pastor Maria Perry and Pastor Jonathan Perry, having given evidence whom we perceive to be, glory to God, divinely chosen, set apart, higher glory, and has been endorsed by the Holy Ghost and gracefully received by this board and presbyters that he and she possess gifts for the work of the gospel ministry and is licensed to preach the gospel to baptize to solemn, solemnize the rites of matrimony to minister and administer the ordinances of baptism, the Lord's Supper, to officiate at funerals, and all the ministerial duties set forth by the standards of Bible doctrine, the bylaws of this organization, and the rights and obligations of the laws of the land, state, as long as the Lord God, the Chief Shepherd, shall will it is so and she, he, may have opportunity to exercise their gifts in the ministry for the period from this date, amen, until I change it, when, her, when their status will be reviewed by the Board of Presbyters. In testimony thereof, I have set my hand and seal this seventh day of March, 2000 and 21 in the year of our Lord. Apostle Susie E. Jones, presiding prelate, St. John Assemblies. God bless you. We're going to be there for them. Amen. Somebody asked me if I had a class for you all. I said they've been in class ever since they've been here. Come on. So I said, we, yes, we have meetings. We have uh, Zoom. We have Zoom. We had phone calls. We had strategized. So I believe that God, it, God has said it is time and that you all are ready. And I love you all. I thank you. They have been nothing but uh, loyal. They have they have sown, they have never stopped sowing uh, and whatever they did not understand, they asked. Amen. So I appreciate you. I, I uh, These are the kind of pastors that I appreciate. Uh, you know, you got some do everything they want to do and you know what I tell them? Okay. Amen. But if when you want help, I will help you. And uh, I just thank God. Y'all know we love you. Yes. So I thank God for you. So now I know we're not supposed to hug, but I'm going to hug y'all. So bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. <laughs> 